so the baby is almost here and you won't believe this but it just dawned on me that I haven't got anything ready I'm about 38 weeks at this point and I haven't packed my hospital bag I haven't finished buying the baby stuff I haven't even started nesting I haven't had wow um, I, I feel like it's this is becoming annoying <laughs> I keep saying I don't have the energy, but really, I'm just so tired all the time, you guys. I haven't had um, maybe the will, maybe not the energy, but the will to to do it. So today, I'm going to do final shopping, uh, the final shopping of some of the things that I need. You have no idea I've been buying stuff and they've been just been ending up in a corner in my room. Let me guys show you what it looks like. It's ridiculous. So I've been just buying everything and just, you know, just dumping it in the corner there and just leaving it um, for whenever I have the energy. <laughs> when I find time from my sleep and then I will pack some of the stuff Oh, wait. at least today I'm hoping that I will get um, the final things that I need I have no intentions of going shopping again so I'm hoping today is the final and only shopping I need to do for before the baby gets here so yeah so I'm planning to go buy a few more clothing items I didn't buy much clothing and I'm so glad that I'm having a, a summer baby so I'm not gonna buy all the the, the heavy stuff the you know the the warm stuff and all that i'm gonna buy that in six months time when the baby's around about six months so i'm gonna buy nice you know summer stuff since the baby's gonna be a summer baby and it's um it's really really hot so there's that and then i'm gonna buy the baby toiletries um but I, i'm so you guys i've been doing research tell me if you if you've seen this so I was on I was uh, on the internet a couple of months ago and I happened to see a story on the shade room about Johnson and Johnson products and actually uh, the um, the baby powder having traces of asbestos and causing cancer guys the way I I love using Johnson and Johnson products and now I'm very apprehensive about using any Johnson and Johnson product so I have to find a substitute that I'm gonna buy usually I use Johnson and Johnson or Bennett's products so now I have to find a substitute what am I gonna use you guys uh, it'll be great if you guys can uh, recommend something in the description box in the comments description box in the comment section mommy brain y'all in the comment section but I did see um, a few other products online that I'm not sure about I did see um, baby dove which is a little bit on the higher end price wise and ooh, Porsche baby products and I didn't know also heavenly now has a baby range you guys I didn't know that but yeah I, I, I don't know what, I, what I'm gonna or purity I have seen purity here and there which is very similar to, to Johnson & Johnson, I think. So I don't know what I'm gonna use for this baby, you guys. For Lyle, I used uh, Johnson & Johnson products and Bennett's products, so I'm not sure this time what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna use, yeah. So yeah, you guys, I have no idea what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna try to do the final shopping today. And he's been bothering me to pack the hospital bag, and I still, haven't haven't packed anything i'm gonna do a video though that i'm gonna quickly show you guys what i'm gonna carry in my hospital bag and tell me if you do carry a hospital bag is there need to carry a baby bag i don't want to carry a baby bag i just want to have one bag because i feel like it's gonna be a lot of luggage carrying the hospital bag plus the baby bag so i just want to carry one bag are you getting nervous, baby? Yeah. What's going on in your head? Baby gonna look like me. Yeah, I've been thinking about that too. Or is the baby gonna look like you? 
You're nervous about the day itself? You have it all planned out? plan today get everything else that we need for the baby for like we Nathan has done much of the shopping <laughs> he's been doing much of the shopping and I've just been you know writing lists in bed and then he does the shopping for me so today is the final day that we're hoping to get everything that we need and then I'll pack my hospital bag and then I'm just waiting for the day at this point waiting for what's to come which is making me nervous because now i know what what's coming and i don't know if it's muscle memory or what um i've been anticipating the pain not in a not in a good way but it's been really making me nervous you guys so let me finish getting ready you guys look my skin is suffering i can't wait to get this baby out so i can get my skin back to normal no matter how much I scrub, wash, I have, it's like a, a rash. I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't itch or anything. It's like a rash, but it's not acne. I, I don't know what it is, but I just can't wait to get this baby out so I can get my skin back to normal. And then I can feel um, like myself again. So yeah, you guys, let's go shopping. Tell me, no, I'm done, Tell me if this is you. I am so tired. I don't even want my carrier first. So. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the smallest person. We're gonna go with that. On our way. and get the pregnant lady out the house is underway Actually supposed to be here earlier. Is my boo? We're supposed to be here earlier, around nine in the morning, and now it's like one p.m. Because I couldn't get out of the bed. But we're here. Ah, you guys. People are decorating for Christmas already. I am all for early Christmas decorations. Check at my favorite store the challenge is to actually get out of here 
without getting anything from me. So we're here just to get a um, baby toilet. Guys, baby stuff is expensive. Baby stuff is expensive. ended up coming home a little earlier than I anticipated. I was starting to feel some pain with all the walking and stuff. So we had to come home. I wasn't trying to have a baby in the morning. I was feeling a little bit of pain on my side and my back and I just thought you know what since I have the essentials that I need it's a wrap. We're gonna go home and then we're gonna do the rest another day but at least I at this point I think I have everything that I need that is essential for the baby if the baby were to come any day from now I would be good I'll still have to do a little bit of more shopping just to add on to what I have but I think I'm ready if the baby should come so I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I bought Yay. okay first things first so for my other baby I alternated diapers I use either um, hampers or huggies so I always you know chop and change between the two whichever one that's on special where the price is better so this time I got these ones at Discam they were pretty cheap I got them there was a nice special going on there so I got those uh, I got quite a few of those because they were on special Oh, let's start with the toiletries. You guys, I love shopping at Discam and Quicks. They're my favorite shops to buy toiletries, either for me or for the baby. I always go to Discam or Quicks, and this time Discam had the best specials. Oh, and if you didn't know, if you shop, if you're expecting a baby and you are over 28 weeks, I think you can register for the Discam Baby Club. And if you spend about a thousand rand for 
uh, baby essentials for baby stuff you get a free baby bag with some supplies inside so i'm also looking forward to that so oh and i got um huggies wipes they were also on special so i got quite a bit of those um i ended up um i told you guys about the whole johnson and johnson thing so i ended up uh, going for purity so i bought the small ones so that i can just try them out i'm not sure how that's gonna work out with the baby but are you guys i loved the how how their aqua screen smell so i'm gonna try out the purity and they're on special three for for two so i only paid for two and then i got the third one free um this was very important for me i ended up getting you know the the cornstarch based powder i don't know if you guys can see because i was very worried about the baby powder after watching that johnson and johnson um scandal and i love my bennets you guys i could not leave without my bennets so i love how the pink one smells and uh my lyle was um had sensitive skin so whenever i tried to use soap on him um it was a little harsh so i ended up um um a nurse told me that i could um wash the baby with well if you guys didn't know Oh, you guys, I ended up, I, I could not leave my Bennett's. I love my Bennett's product. Pity they don't have some of the things that I would like them to have in their baby range. But I do love their aqueous cream. It's so good. I used it for Lyle and I'm going to use it again. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, um, well, we've been using this for generations in my family. But anyway, if you guys didn't know, Lyle had sensitive skin. So every time I tried to use soap on his skin, it was so harsh and i was advised to use um the blue one there's another one with the blue cap but i took this one this time um to wash the baby with as a substitute for soap so just in case this baby sensitive also to soap i'm gonna use that if the soap is too harsh but i also did get this oh i'm only noticing now that it says bubble wash i'm wondering if it's a bubble bath or if it's just like a wash okay we'll figure that out but if not then i'll get the right one and then some essential cotton buds and cotton buds and cotton balls um i forgot to buy the methylated uh, not methylate the surgical spirit for the belly button i forgot to get that and i will get that uh some petroleum jelly mm, no ashy elbows mm -mm. and then for me i had to get those maternity pads you need those you need these so yeah that's that for the toiletries we'll do another video just to show you guys all the toiletries this is just the stuff that i got today and then I got some cute little clothes. Ooh, I love soft stuff. Ooh, and we still, I keep saying ooh, but anyway, we still don't know what the gender of the baby is. So I've been really trying to buy gender neutral colors. So I've got a lot of whites. And yeah, I got a couple of receivers for the hospital. And you guys, this is probably my favorite thing on everything that I bought. The baby's blanket. This is so cute. This was on special. I got it for like 150 rand. It's so cute, you guys. I love the blanket. And then I ended up doing most of the shopping at Ackermans because they had really good specials. And... Like I said, I got a lot of gender neutral colors. I love these little things, you guys. I don't know if you can see. I love these things. They're so cute. And I, I don't believe in, well, I did this mistake with Lyo. I bought a lot of expensive baby clothes because I was excited. My first baby, I wanted to go all out. 
and you guys he grew out of those clothes so quick i'm not gonna do that again so i got a lot of i don't want to say i want to say cheap stuff but affordable like good prices um for the stuff Joe, i'm so happy look at that it's a cute little baby um and i got like again lyle quickly grew out of i bought a lot of the zero to three months like newborn stuff and he quickly grew out of that so i tried to to mix because i'm not sure you know you know babies when they're small they they grow out of they grow quickly so i bought a lot of uh, zero to a few zero to three months stuff and then i did three to six months just in case he's if the baby is big you guys i love burgundy i know many will say that this is a girl's color but i love it it's cute i bought a lot of those um what else did you get this so cute so because my baby is a summer baby i didn't buy a lot of these because i know that he's gonna quit he or she I don't know we keep referring to the baby as a he but you guys i promise you we don't know what the gender is nathan is hoping for a boy lyle is hoping for a boy i really don't care a baby's a baby i'm gonna be happy either way but we got i got these so i don't know i didn't get a lot of these because we're having a summer baby it's december it's gonna be warm i'll get winter stuff um you know as the baby grows and uh i couldn't resist some blues you guys i think blues are good either for a baby girl or baby boy so i got that that is so cute um yeah you guys i think for now that's pretty much it and then i'll sh um the next video i'm gonna do what i'm gonna take to what i'm gonna pack in the hospital bag and and um yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video it's been a long day you guys i'm so tired my body's aching i just want to rest at this point what else oh i forgot to show you the cute little socks i got i got the cutest oh, i got the cutest socks you guys they're so cute look at those what are the cutie they're so cute i got the cutest socks i got a few of these let's hope they will stay on not that i think it's they're necessary because it's december again and it's warm i don't think it's necessary but i got some socks just in case so we didn't get everything but we got most of the stuff um and the stuff that i had already bought um i tried to pick away some of the stuff just to get ready um yesterday i did a, a little bit of um packing on some of the other stuff and now i'm gonna get rid of this corner and then i'm gonna pack um my hospital bag for tomorrow and the big i'm still i don't know you guys do you carry a nappy bag a baby bag to the hospital maybe i probably should okay so probably i'm gonna put uh, the baby bag inside my bag and then it's gonna be like one big bag i don't want a lot of luggage but anyway we'll talk about this in the next video thank you guys for watching